Well, there's big news tonight for Arizona. Arizona just hit a home run in its battle to fight illegal immigration. The Supreme Court of the United States upheld an Arizona law today that imposes harsh penalties on businesses that hire illegal immigrants. And guess what? This particular law was actually signed into law, not by Governor Jan Brewer, but by then-Governor Janet Napolitano. Yes, our current Secretary of Homeland Security. So is the victory a good sign for Governor Brewer's controversial SB 1070? Arizona Governor Jan Brewer joins us. Good evening, Governor, and um, reading the tea leaves, what do you read on this, uh, this decision of the Supreme Court as it relates to SB 1070? Well, it's pretty clear that the uh, Supreme Court ruled today that states do play a critical role in illegal immigration. So I think it's a, uh, a signal that uh, is going to be very helpful going forward in regards to uh, our uh, Senate Bill uh, 1070 that's uh, hopefully going to uh, end up in the Supreme Court, and we win that also. Well, what the Supreme Court said today, and it seemed actually sort of a, a, a decision was made sort of along ideological lines, people we think are conservative versus liberal. Uh, it said that essentially that um, the federal law is, it d determines immigration, illegal immigration, but that the Arizona law fits squarely within it, that you didn't in any way, you're not inconsistent with the federal law. Is that essentially how you understand it? Absolutely, and that's the way our lawyers here in Arizona, um, I, I, you know, explained it to me. And uh, we feel um, very uh, pleased uh, with that ruling, and we believe uh, wholeheartedly that now we can absolutely take down the help wanted signs for illegal aliens in Arizona and move forward. That's just one more step in fighting the fight that we're fighting here. Now, the, the other sort of interesting thing about this wasn't the United States that brought the case, but the Chamber of Commerce. They were trying to protect business from having to comply with the laws uh, that Arizona was passing on businesses to check whether people are illegal or not. But the other fascinating issue is that the Secretary of Homeland Security used to be the governor of your state. She's the one who actually signed this bill. That, that is correct. Uh, she did sign the bill, and um, we're grateful that she signed the bill, and uh, we are um, going to uh, continue to be grateful that she signed the bill. I don't know why she, I don't know, I don't really understand her motivation for it, other than maybe she felt that it wasn't going to pass muster. But um, today, uh, Arizona won, and we thank Janet Napolitano for that. Certainly, um, uh, you know, when I went back to uh, D.C. to the Supreme Court, um, I was, you know, her name was changed from the defendant to my name. And so um, I showed up and um, heard the dialogue and, um, the testimony and um, the presentation, and we did a fantastic job, and I believe that we'll keep that up, and that this is just another uh, step in the um, a momentum that Do Arizona is leading the country in. Do you think she's sort of taking a bow tonight that, this, that the law that she signed is, was upheld by the Supreme Court? Or do you think, I mean, she's in an awkward situation because the next round is actually the federal government challenging you on SB 1070. So it seems a rather awkward, although there, there are differences between the two cases. Oh, absolutely. There are differences. But, uh, you know, I can't get into her head to, to know what she's thinking or, uh, or, or that. But uh, we're grateful she signed the bill. We're grateful we won tonight. And uh, the momentum is going in Arizona's direction. So we are just going to keep plowing ahead. We're not going to give up, Greta. What's the status, by the way, of your border? Um, is it, uh, have you got more security down there or not? No, we do not. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are in a, in, in a quandary here. We don't know if we have a National Guard coming or if we have National Guard going. Uh, something has got to be uh, resolved between us and the federal government. Um, when President Obama was down in El Paso, he somewhat indicated that uh, he was keeping the National Guard there as they were taking them out. But uh, it's from my understanding that uh, they are still removing the National Guard from our border. You know, I was with Governor Perry um, this week, and he was he seemed a little bit uh, nose out of joint because the president uh, didn't receive him, he, that they didn't talk when he was in Texas, the president didn't, uh, that they didn't meet on the border together. Um, how about you? Um, did you want the president, I assume you wanted him to stop in Arizona. Well, I've invited him on numerous occasions. I certainly would like him to come here to the border. I find it just unbelievable that he does. He talks to everybody, everybody but the governors. Uh, Senator, uh, Pre uh, Governor Perry and myself, we have huge issues. We have huge problems. And uh, he doesn't uh, uh, <laughs> communicate with us. It's a lack of communication. And uh, it's unfair and it's wrong. And, of course, Jan Napolitano hasn't been back home, or has she been back home? 
I, you know, she didn't call me. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea if she's been here or not. All right. Well, we'll see what happens when the case gets to the United States Supreme Court. SB 1070, in which the government uh, is a party to it. They were not a party to this, but the Chamber of Commerce against you. But Governor, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Greta.